Let's begin with the first eight bars in the right hand. Feel the music in two and try to have a sense of the longer phrase. Also a sense of movement through each note and try to make the piano sing. Here the first note is marked forte and the following note is piano. Perhaps like an outburst of grief. It's not a very jolly piece. And the left hand. Feel how the slurs connect the notes into little phrases. Here you can lift the last note of each slurred group as this gives the music more breath. Nice and legato within each little phrase. Lots of expression when you put the hands together. The left hand is answering the right hand as in conversation. Feel the colour in the harmony as you travel to the dominant key, B major. Here you need to lift the left hand in each rest, again to allow a greater sense of breath. And up, and up. These descending intervals are like little sighs of regret and sorrow. Feel the colour in the harmony, E minor, a minor, and back to E minor again. You can shape this differently each time. The hands float up together at the end of each slur. Although not too staccato like this, as this wouldn't really match the character of the piece. The next eight bars are similar, although you can shape the phrases imaginatively and convey another statement, sentiment or feeling, however you think of the music. Feel how we return to the home key and make sure the right hand goes up in the rest. And then straight on to the following section with just a little breath beforehand, the music shouldn't stop. These phrases are leading us to a new section in the music, with a slower tempo in bar 19 and 20. Here there is also a crescendo, which unwinds together with the slowing in tempo. These lamenting phrases are full of sadness, and you can really express this by playing every note expressively whilst projecting the sound. The piano sings out in lament, and then peters out to more of an intimate whisper. Here you need to sustain the lower notes whilst playing the phrases above. The lower notes can be joined with the correct fingering, and this will make the music sound connected with a sense of direction. Keep your hand relaxed whilst playing everything together. Everything should be played with weight and not force. This is only possible with a relaxed hand and arm. The phrase from the very beginning of the piece is repeated three times as the sense of loss intensifies. You could imagine three different instruments or three different statements. Use your imagination, but don't play everything the same. And here it is all together. Maybe softer when the melody returns in bar 25. We're at a different place in the music and although the notes are more or less the same, we can express these uniquely. Different colors once again. A cry of desperation. Observe the strong dynamic and articulation and time the diminuendo so that the return to the solitary key of E minor is soft once again. Here you must use fingering that makes sense. This will enable you to connect the chords and have a sense of the longer phrase. A relaxed hand for every chord, but the position will vary depending on the intervals and black notes used. Third finger in the middle here, thumb on the A and B here, quite a common technique, and two in the middle here. These fingerings fit the chords and feel natural. Don't forget to breathe in that quaver rest in bar 29. 
easing the dynamic and the tempo so that the ending is not abrupt in any way. You could even bring out the chromatic line in the left hand and make sure you lift the right hand in the rest. <laughs> 